South Korea's partnership with UNICEF goes back more than 60 years. After receiving much needed support from the organization during and after the Korean War, Seoul began giving back, making a dr drastic and rapid role transition. Our Oh Seong got a chance to sit down with UNICEF's Deputy Director Omar Abdi for his insights on this unique relationship. Korean children were the recipients of UNICEF's humanitarian aid throughout the Korean War in the early 1950s. The organization established an office in Seoul in 1962 to help facilitate key programs, but closed it 30 years later when Korea had reached a substantial point of development. A local fundraising organization was set up in its place. Since then, Korea has become a donor uh, to UNICEF and every year increasing their contribution uh, to UNICEF. So it's a story that uh, we tell other countries as well and we hope that um, other countries will be in the same place. Uh, we have common uh, priorities and common goals and one of them is, for example, health, uh, maternal and child health, uh, which both government of Korea and UNICEF is a priority. Another one is education, particularly education for girls. Uh, is an important area that we are working together. Korea is now UNICEF's 12th largest donor, with government funding having grown about sixfold over the last 10 years. It is also the third largest contributor of private and individual donations through the National Committee for UNICEF, amounting to roughly $90 million a year. Now the partnership is set to deepen. UNICEF reopened its office in Seoul this week with the aim of working more closely with Korea's government ministries, the private sector and civic society. So just a couple of days ago, you opened a new office in Seoul. In which areas do you see closer cooperation with Korea? You know, innovation is, is a big thing in, um, in South Korea. So we want to take an advantage of the knowledge and expertise that is in here um, and translate to uh, innovations that support children, whether it is uh, provision of water, whether it is um, um, real-time information. Education, of course, is, is, is well advanced here. Um, and one of the areas that we want to learn from, as you know, that uh, there are a lot of youth, in, uh, particularly in middle-income countries, um, without the skills that are needed in the private sector. So we want to look at how um, Korea has developed skills that are demanded by, um, by the economy, by the, um, so that then we can export that knowledge and share with other countries. Oh Young, Arirang News.